Please join in as William Frazier leads us in the Pledge to the Flag, followed by our national anthem performed by the Whitman Hanson Choral Members, conducted by Mr. Gregory Daigle. How are we doing, guys? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go Panthers. Good evening, everyone. Superintendent Jeff Simonak, members of the school committee and board of selectmen, invited guests, faculty, family, and friends, and most importantly, the class of 2023. I would like to welcome you to this evening's graduation ceremonies. But before we get started with this much deserved celebration, I ask that we pay our respects towards the recent tragedy our community has experienced. And by joining in a moment of silence to reflect and offer our thoughts and prayers of support and love to the family of Ava Patetti during this difficult time. Thank you. It is important that I also take a moment to thank some of the key people in making tonight special. Senior class advisors Mrs. Kristen Thomas, Mr. Brian Dempsey for the hours they have dedicated to the senior class. Mrs. Siobhan Horton for performing and accomplishing many unrealized tasks that take all day and many hours late into the evening to make sure this ceremony runs as smoothly as possible. Mr. David Fleck and Mr. Christopher Guggins for the organization of this evening's festivities. Mr. Marcus Casey and Mr. Jason Cook for providing all audio and visual enhancements tonight. Today's graduation video coverage is brought to you by Whitman Hanson Community Access. Replays of this ceremony and other class of 2023 events will be available on Comcast Channel 98 and at www.hca.tv watch. I would be remiss if I didn't thank Mr. George Farrow, Mr. Mike Driscoll and all the facility staff. They must be commended for all their hard work in setting up this year's celebration. I now ask that you join me in another moment of silence for our service people, those who are currently serving, members of the class of 2023 who will serve, and those who have fallen in the service of this great nation. Finally, I think it would be appropriate for us all to take a moment to reflect on other journeys that will be coming to an end, much like the graduates before us. Whitman Hanson Regional High School and the whole community would like to thank Mrs. Nina Consolini, our business teacher, for her service and wish her well as she begins her retirement. Like many of you, we've been watching the weather very closely.
today. So we're going to do something a little different, and we're going to have our dessert before our dinner. Out of an abundance of caution, we are going to flip the ceremony, thereby offering the graduates what they really came here for. You can cheer, it's okay. We will be starting with the presentation of diplomas in hopes that the weather holds out for as much of the ceremony as possible. If it rains, we will stay for the ceremony. If it thunders, we will not. If we need to leave the field due to thunder and lightning or a storm coming in, I please humbly request that all graduates and their parents come to the PAC, the Performing Arts Center at the high school, where we will conclude the ceremony. That being said, at this time, the graduating class will receive their diplomas. Noah Joshua Roberts. Leah Danielle Cataldo. William Richard Frazier. Moises Trey Harismio Lacandula. Riley Elizabeth Getchell. Sarah Ann Regan. Brian Robert Buffard. Lyle Alganawi. Madeline Blake Allen. Tyler Christopher Almeida. Faith Camille Amato. Gianna Elizabeth Amato. Sean Nathan Anderson. Ceylon Andrade. Yasmin Lunga and Theres. Lily Sky Arsenal. Ian Joseph Ashley. Malia Rose Avery. Ella Grace Bailey. Brooke Ashley Balf. Samuel David Balcom. Francesca Banfield. Gianna Rose Barbosa. Emma Ruth Bartolomea. Nicholas Tomasio Beauregard. Brandon Allen Berg. Matthew James Bergen. Zachary Francis Birmingham. Ava Grace Bickford. Kyle Henry Bird. Cadence Ruth Bowman. Trevor James Boyce. Stephanie Silva Braga. Devin Curtis Brodor. Brandon Jason Brooks. Ryan Kendall Brown. Scott Andrew Buckman. Camden Patrick Burrows. Daniel Thomas Butler. Harrison Robert Carew. Ryan Patrick Carroll. Evan Michael Casey. James Stephen Casey. Kayla Elizabeth Cassidy. Jaylee Centeo. Cole Thomas Champini. Harrison Gregory Chase. Charles Biko Che Guevara. Andrew James Chiklowski. 
Brandon Amin Chufa. William Samino III. Maddox Lewis Colclaw. Aiden James Colloran. Rachel Rose Conca. Kenneth Charles Conley. Anthony Luciano Cornetta. Stephanie Cheyenne Costa. Brandon Thomas Craven. Allison Rose Cray. Holly Christine Cronin. Ryan Patrick Crowley. Joseph Michael Cully. Christopher David Currier. Luciano Bastavares de Gama. Drew Peter Daly. Jeffrey James Davis, presented by his grandfather, former school committee member James Haggerty. Declan Daniel D. Sophia Catherine DeFabrizio. Olivia Rose DeLuca. Rafaela Barros de Oliveira. Michael Joseph DeCarlo. Sean Michael DiMatteo. Sam Dodrill. Patrick J. Robert Dolan. Kyle Thomas Donnelly. Jade Marie Dore. Trevor Wyatt Dudas. Gabrielle Marie Egan. Logan James Earl. Brady Andrew Easter. Nicholas Francis Ennis. Angelo Rose Folletti. Victoria Ann Ennis. Bridget Rose Feeney. Macy Lee Fitzgerald. Nicholas Shaw Flores. Allison Mackenzie Foley. Julia Rose Foley. Stephen Chase Fostello. Drew Leonard Fountain. Gianna Loren Gaeta. Salvatore Patrick Garofalo. Trevor James Janest. Elijah Julian George. Leah Rose Giannotti. William Andrew Gillett. Hudson Michael Gillis. Jenna Lynn Glebus. Mia Penny Gokel. Cameron Montgomery Golden. Claudia Sophia Gomes Almeida. Mallory Rose Good. John Robert Goudreau. Trevor Roy Guggins. Gracie Sandra Irene Gorman. Ethan Daniel Guthrow. James Raymond Goyette. Olivia Rose Griner. Hunter Riley Grow. Aiden Robert Giuliani. Nicanor Gustav. Cassidy Rose Haddad. Rocco Ray Hanafi. Ava Victoria Harris. James Matthew Hawk. Jaden Chris Hawker. Gregory Thomas Heap. Reagan Elizabeth Heath. Ian Michael Hegarty. Mila Strummer Henderson. Jacob Anthony Hernandez. Joshua Nathan Hilaire. Noah Joseph Hopkins. Jackson Harrison House. Sean Stephen Rono. 
Benjamin Edward Hurley. Eva Marie Hutchko. Erica Robin Ingram. Pollocker Innocent. Ron Raphael Isidore. George Nicholas Jacobs. Molly Coy Jones. Braden Michael Kane. Harrison Theophilus Camparides. Sophia Elizabeth Kearns. Will Ketty. Aiden David Keen. Mackenzie Early Sky Kilcoin. Allison Michaela King. Emma Michelle King. Jordan Daryl Kaiser. Cameron Ferdinand Kral. Madison Grace Kraus. Brandon Doyle Krupp. Anthony Philip Labonte. Priscilla Monica Laguerre. Ryan Joseph Labonte. Allison Elizabeth Larkin. Kylie Mary Lasky. Nicholas George Larkin. Mark Lee. Savannah Rose Lawrence. Peyton Elizabeth Ledbetter. Caitlin Maureen Leahy. Christopher Michael Levitt. Haley Maureen Lieber. Matthew Owen Lilly. Zachary Lewis Lindsay. Helen Oliveira Lira. Brooklyn Marie Lopes. Hyra Sheila Lopez. Gabrielle Louise McFarlane. Cassidy Michelle McKay. Emily McCooch. Nicholas Alexander Manganello. Rachel Elizabeth Maniscalco. Cole Ronald Manter. Olivia Rose Mara. Matthew Lee Marchant, Jr. Caitlin Rose Marino. David William Martin III. Jack Edward McGrath. Sheila Madison McGrath. Natalie Rose McManus. Meredith Kim McPherson. Lauren Jessica Mead. Lila Claire Meinhold. Audrey Louise Miller. Isabel Rose Miller. Meredith Jubilee Mohan. James Ronald Melito. Valencia Muriel Morales. Abigail Grace Moran. Grace Lee Morgan. Cameron Sean Maroney. Heather Marie Mulkay. Colin Joseph Murphy. Thomas Michael Murphy. Miranda Rose Murray. Ella Rose Nagel. Jack Charles Novicki. Maya Teresa Newcomb. Sean Michael Noonan. Alexander Michael Noons. Joseph Zachary Nye. Abigail Adele, hello, O'Neill. Colin Frederick O'Sullivan. Raymond Jonathan Oldham. Emmanuel Ricardo Osorio. Benjamin Ronald Pace. Kayleen Sophie Paquette. Samuel Adam Pace. Cade Alexander Patton. Lily Marie Pedersen. Omer Ariesel Perez Madej. 
Shaylin Marie Peterson. Matthew Nicholas Phelps. Jillian Elise Phillips. Justin Javon Shane Pickering. Jordan Marie Pierce. Haley Jane Panola. Anthony Joaquin Pyers IV. Jackson Robert Preskins. Sydney Francis Pyers. Paige Regan. Brooke Tracy Reichert. Alexia Rosende Fontes. Jacqueline Esther Rivera. Jocelyn Haley Roshan. Roshan, sorry. Zachary Nathan Rogers. Kyrie Robert Rulak. Jaleel Jamarian Rusi. Alexandra Amaral Roy. Nathan David Skasha. Derek Thomas Schwade. Samuel Joseph Scott. Ruby Alice Scriven, presented by her father, school committee member, Chris Scriven. Jessica Alice Seely. Rayana Elizabeth Sheehan. Celine Silverman. Michaela Rose Seriano. Corey Matthew Smith. <laughs> Tia Janae Smith. Matthew David Solari. Kara Paige Somerville. Connor Sherman Sotak. Aiden Mark Spadorsha. Emma Lillian Stearns. Sam Vincent Spadorsha. Jordan Walter Stranges. Connor Patrick Sturgeon. Ashley Annette Sweeney. Light Mary Margaret Sweeney. Thomas John Sylvester. Jane, uh, Roman James Zamretta. Jacob Allen Teague. Logan Rose Thomas. Sarah Patricia Thompson. Ann Lee Tilly. Devin Christopher Travers. Olivia Sheridan Tarosi. Natalie Coimbra Ventura. Abigail Catherine Finley Walsh. Devin James Walsh. Matthew Gallagher Ward. Ryan Matthew Walsh. Dallas William Webb. Adam William Wheeler. Michael Jason Whitman. Brendan Patrick White. Haley Marie Weiner. Ryan Michael Williams. Jay Thomas Young. Hannah Mackenzie Young. Jonathan Arthur Young. I would now like to introduce Noah Roberts, President and Valedictorian of the Class of 2023 to welcome you and present his speech, Who Are You? All right, can you all hear me good? Na Nana, can you hear me over there? All right. Hold on. Yeah, Noah. 
<laughs> Over here. Sorry, I didn't memorize it before, so. Uh, <laughs> Who are you? Hello and happy graduation. I'd like to welcome members of the school committee, Superintendent Sinemanak, Dr. Jones, teachers and staff, friends, family, and most importantly, my fellow classmates of the class of 2023. I am beyond proud and grateful to everyone here today. To the class of 2023, I don't know where the past four years went. And to be completely honest, I feel that maybe I should have taken people more seriously when they said that high school would fly by because as far as I was concerned, us being at this point would never actually happen. It made so much sense for every class before us to walk across the stage and grab their diplomas. But for us, never that I foresee it actually arriving. But regardless, thank you all for being here tonight as we celebrate the class of 2023. I've always felt that any presentation should, without fail, begin with gratitude. And I, along with the rest of us, have a lot of wonderful people to be thankful for. For starters, the people that keep us grounded after a long day at school are families. Trust me, I know there is no such thing as a normal family situation, but make sure to give the ones you love, whether by blood or by bond, an extra long hug today for how far we've come. As for me, <laughs> as for me, my gratitude will always begin and end with my Nana and brother. <laughs> I appreciate the applause, but I don't want to get struck by lightning up here. So, <laughs> Nana, my entire being will be eternally grateful for the numerous sacrifices you made for us. From delicious breakfast every morning, to staying up late to make sure I get home, even when I'm 30 minutes late, to always being right somehow, which honestly doesn't seem fair to me, but that's okay. You have always been there for me, and I generally don't know where I would be without you. I love you, Nana. <laughs> As for Cody, thank you for being my rock. Too thick and thin, you stuck with me. If I could offer you any advice, it would be quite simple. Keep your head up. You have such great things ahead of you. Not to break down already, but... <laughs> and of course, since we're at the very place that we called home for six hours a day, 180 days for the past four years, thank you to everyone that has shaped us into the people we are today. Thank you to the administration for helping to school to operate as smoothly as possible on a day-to-day -day basis. And to the cafeteria workers for always greeting me with a smile when I grab an extra cup of chocolate pudding that I probably don't need. <laughs> Most of all, thank you to the teachers. You all consistently go above and beyond in making teaching not just a job, but the cornerstone of community that is found within Women Hanson. For just a couple of examples, I could go on and on, but thank you to Mr. Kozak for staying after school, I think just about every day junior year to help me with physics home homework. And to Ms. Thomas, whose vocab retakes single-handedly saved everybody's grade in that class. I know there are dozens of other people that I could go on and on and thank for helping us along the way, but it is important to remember that ultimately, through perseverance, adaptability, and dedication, we succeeded in being here today. So class of 2023, before we toss our caps in the air and probably lose a couple on the way down, in celebration of what lies ahead, I ask you one simple question. Who are you? <laughs> Be, before the um, unexpected applause, there was, there was silence. You could feel the tangible silence. As you probably weren't expecting me to ask you all a question but I'm being completely serious. Who are you? Without any advice from others, any external collaboration, would you be able to write a five-word description of yourself? I don't want anybody to pull out a pen and paper and start writing it, since I know half of you probably didn't bring that to class anyways. But just reflect for a second. If you were to ask me merely a year ago, I would probably give you a flat answer. Well, I'm a high school student who stays up late procrastinating, and I love eating cookie dough ice cream, which is an okay description on the surface. 
and in general is pretty accurate still, but it's, it's so surface level. There's no character. Life is consistently moving incredibly fast, and in it, you're met with big expectations. Whether you set them for yourself or they are constructed by the people and society around you, it can be very difficult to want to break away from this mold. These expectations lead to false perspectives of yourself, causing you to live a life where you do not wholeheartedly know who you are. And in some instances, this is okay, because at the end of the day, this is your own life. You should have complete autonomy over it. But if you're like me, then it isn't. Over the course of my life, I've been surrounded by a variety of different expectations, all stemming from external circumstances. As a little kid, not much was, is expected of me. As growing up in a household of mental illness and drug abuse is generally not the best baseline for a successful academic career. In middle school, I expected nothing less than perfection myself and felt that everyone around me was providing that exact same pressure. Working for hours on single assignments as I perfected every detail is not something that middle school me should have been worried about. The tears receive for receiving anything below an A plus seem like a joke now, especially since my younger self would be horrified by some of my AP Chem test scores. We're rolling with it. Even in high school, I felt that I was under so much pressure to be the, to be the best because if I failed to do that, then what good was I? I'm not sure if this mindset is true for all high school students, but what I realize now is that mindset is not only unhealthy, but it's dangerous as well. Junior year was a tipping point for me, where instead of spiraling deeper, I took a step back and did what we all should do. I put myself first. I had never really put much thought into self-care before, but trust me, it is so beyond necessary. And yet, it is one of the things that people forget about the most. So I urge all of you to consider this. Don't be afraid to be mindful. You need to prioritize your mental and physical health above anybody else's, and not even in a selfish manner, selfish manner because there's no way you can help other people if you can't even help yourself first. Being selfish and caring about your health are completely different things, and understanding this has helped me clearly answer the question of who are you. We all go through struggles, and no matter how much you think you know the person sitting next to you, I can guarantee that these are personal feeling, that there are personal feelings that they have never truly openly expressed with anyone. So please, be kind to yourself and others. As we all part ways today and take our first step into becoming adults, just remember to be you. Whether you're trying to make environmental government policy, start a business, or become the best worker in the history of Shaw's employees. Do what tr you truly want to do and don't let other people hold you down. One thing I'm sure is if I'm ever asked again, who are you? I am the president of the class of 2023 and it has been an absolute honor to have served you in these past four years. Thank you and congratulations to everyone. Please enjoy the concert chorus as they perform Touch the Sky from Disney's Brave. That's what I get for changing the order last minute.
Please welcome the salutatorian of the class of 2023, Leah Cataldo, presenting her speech to the class of 2023. Hello, class of 2023, family, friends, and faculty. I'm so glad to have the opportunity to stand in front of you as a salutatorian of our class. I'd like to thank my parents, teachers, and friends for supporting me throughout school. It is these great people that have enabled me to push myself and remain motivated to always do my best. For me, and likely many of my classmates, this moment feels surreal. As a kid, I felt like graduation would never come. 2023 felt like a faraway year in the future that I couldn't even picture in my head. But here we are, graduating, as the class of 2023. Things may have changed slowly, but as I look around at my classmates, it's clear that somewhere along the way, we grew up. Going through elementary, middle, and high school, I felt like tra time dragged by. However, as I reminisce on my life, it seems as though time passed in the blink of an eye. Elementary school me never considered how much I would miss being able to swing at recess every day. Middle school me never would have guessed that I would be at graduation, wishing I could take just one more lap in my middle school's courtyard. And freshman year me never would have imagined that after moving to Whitman, I would meet so many amazing people at Whitman Hanson Regional High School. Well, it's nice to look back on the past and only natural to wish you could go back every now and then. Our pasts are nothing compared to our futures. As we graduate, we are free to follow our own paths and find the, find the people in life that truly make us happy. It might be scary now, and we might miss the familiar life we have lived throughout school, but this is a start to a new chapter in life, full of potential. To the class of 2023, it's only up from here. Please enjoy the band as they play Remember Me from Disney's Coco, conducted by Mr. Brian Rowe.
I mean at this time, seniors, please join your fellow classmates for the remainder of the ceremony. As they're moving to their seats, please welcome the chairperson of the school committee, Mrs. Beth Stafford, as she addresses the class of 2023. Do I see my sixth graders out there somewhere? Where are you? I, I was going to wear the, the hat thing today, but it's too hot, so. Okay, good evening, Superintendent Seismanac, Principal Dr. Jones, faculty, parents, friends, and especially the graduating class of 2023. I'm representing the Whitman Hanson School Committee to congratulate you on this wonderful achievement. I have one word that I will use to, tonight to describe this class. That word is adapt. You have had to adapt to many changes to reach this night. You adapted from elementary school to middle school for, and then to the high school. But the biggest issue was what you had to do in high school. First year in school is at home in March due to COVID. Second year hybrid, in school, at home, what class, what time, am I up, am I sleeping, what's going on? Then, third year, still with some masks. Finally, this year, learning to adapt to being in school full time, no masks, in front of your teachers and fellow students. This ability to adapt will be very important in your future endeavors. Whether you are going to the workforce, the trades, military, service, to a four year college, you will have to adapt to new situations, new education, leaving home following orders, bosses, and more. With your past experiences, oops, you will be able to adapt to any changes that you will face in your future. I'm very proud of your accomplishments through all of this and wish you the best in whatever path you choose to take. Best of luck to all of you. I would now like to invite our superintendent of schools, Mr. Jeffrey Simonak, to present his remarks to the class of 2023. Yeah, no snow days, sorry. Almost a rain day. <laughs> the, only, I don't, the only class without a snow day, no weather days. Good evening, uh, Dr. Jones, Mr. Guggins, members of the school committee, teachers, parents, friends, and members of the class of 2023. Today is graduation day. In my humble opinion, the best day of the year. Amen, right? <laughs> usually, on usually on graduation day, I go home, change into a clean shirt in preparation of sweating through it, have a cup of coffee, and mentally prepare for the ceremony. Most people don't know, but I experience major anxiety prior to speaking in front of large groups, like this. So as I was pacing and getting ready to leave today, I told my wife how anxious I was feeling. She is always so reassuring. She said, remember, use your coping strategies. Keep it under five minutes and you'll do fine. Oh yeah, don't forget, nobody listens to the superintendent. Love ya, have a good time. Now after that confidence boost, over the next four minutes or so, I'd like to speak to you about my expectations, my challenges, and my hopes for you, the graduates of the class of 2023. My expectations. I expect you to be a good citizen. Take part in your community. Use your voice. Remember to vote and to be a good neighbor. I expect you to use manners. Remember them. Please, thank you, may I, and excuse me. I expect you to be humble. Humility produces happiness and positive emotions. It extends compassion and empathy towards others. I expect you to be kind. Being kind boosts confidence and optimism. And being kind just makes you feel good. I expect you to live a life to the fullest. Be passionate, follow your heart, trust your gut, and make your moments count. Forget could've, would've, and should've. 
Just go out there and do it. My challenge is to you. I challenge you to take care of your mind and body. This gets really hard the older you get and the less time you have when life gets in the way. I challenge you to show grace. You will encounter people who drive you crazy and frustrate you. Show grace and be patient. I challenge you to step out of your comfort zone. Walking into a new job, a new classroom, or a new social situation is scary and intimidating. Also life-changing and very rewarding. I challenge you to think outside the box. I don't know what the careers of the future will be. I still don't know what an influencer is or does, but it seems like there are a lot of people doing it. Con continuously color outside the lines and think, how can I make this better? I challenge you to listen and hear others, even though they might not share the same viewpoint and still be civil. It seems you have lost that in our society and this needs to change. My hopes for you. I hope you find success in your future. You and only you can define what that success may be. I hope you dream. Whether they are big or small, dreams motivate, and life is so much more fun when you dream. I hope you find joy. Joy in relationships, joy in work, joy in family, joy in life. I hope you believe in yourself. Sometimes believing in yourself is hard and will be tested. However, you are capable and have the ability to conquer anything you set your mind to. I hope you realize that being wrong is okay. You can learn and grow so much when you make and understand your mistakes. Lastly, I hope you are happy. Living your best life is not easy or simple. Inevitably, you will face challenges. Seek your passion. Engage in your opportunities. Be confident. Love unconditionally. Dance like nobody's watching, belly laugh frequently, and don't forget to smile. Class of 2023, you are unique. You are spirited. See Mr. Frazier back there. You are gracious, and you are accomplished. You have left a permanent footprint on your school, your teachers, and your classmates. You will be missed. I have two final asks for you before you leave today. Say thank you to a teacher. You have no idea how much of an impact those two words mean. And then stop, take a picture with your family, and don't roll your eyes at your mother. The people who are here love you and are proud of you. Be in the moment with them. They have earned it. Congratulations, class of 2023, and good luck. The faculty of Whitman Hanson Regional High School gather near the end of the school year to put forward candidates deserving of a few annual awards. This year, I have the pleasure of awarding two of those awards. The Alton E. Taylor Award, given by the class of 1951, and the Narissa Lynn Cross Cup Award, given by the class of 1999. The Alton E. Taylor Award. Alton Red Taylor was a member of the class of 1951 who lost his life in the Korean War. Classmates saw Red as a young man who was unknown and in some ways a non-participant until he flourished and became a leader during his senior year. Thus, the class of 1951 felt this award should be given to a senior boy who realized his potential during his senior year. The high school faculty votes this award. The recipient will receive a check in the amount of $4,000 and his name will be inscribed on a plaque prominently displayed in the school. The recipient of the class of 1951's Alton E. Taylor Award is Alexander Nunes.
the Narissa Lynn Cross Cup Award. Narissa Cross Cup was a member of the class of 1999 who tragically lost her life in a car accident during her junior year. Narissa was de a determined and outgoing girl who excelled in academics and athletics. This award is given each year to a senior who has overcome difficult personal circumstances in his or her attempt to attain educational goals and who plans to attend college. The recipient will receive a personal plaque and a check in the amount of $200 and their name will be inscribed on an award plaque prominently displayed in the school. The recipient of the Narissa Lynn Cross Cup Award is Cassidy McKay. Please welcome Mr. Kevin Kafka to the lectern to present two additional awards. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Oh, hey. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations, class of 2023. The Women Hanson Education Association is pleased to recognize the following students for academic excellence here at our great high school. In addition to a certificate, they will receive a financial award. Uh, these are in alphabetical order. So the first one goes to, so my paper doesn't blow away, Leah Cataldo. All right, a lot of stuff on stage here. How about Noah Roberts for the next one? All right, the final award is for Sarah Thompson. So this is the Eugenia F. Lovell Award. Eugenia F. Lovell was a longtime Whitman resident and school committee member and very active. This award is given by the vote of the faculty to a senior student who achieves academic excellence, demonstrates leadership, and extensive service to their school and community. This is the highest award given by the faculty. In addition to a plaque, the student will receive a financial award in the uh, amount of $1,000. I am honored to present this award to Mr. Noah Roberts. Over here. Each year, seniors are invited to submit a speech before a committee for the opportunity to offer a few words at commencement. This year, Brian Buffard has been selected for this honor. His speech is entitled, Got Hope. Brian, the microphone is yours. Bear with me. <clears throat> Four years ago, during the time of year when summer nights get darker and darker and the school year waits patiently on the horizon, I was sitting in the office of a guidance counselor, helping me with course selection ahead of my freshman year. The beginning of high school is a pretty big milestone, and its gravity wasn't lost on me, but my apathetic 15-year-old self would still rather gaze around the office with bored interest. 
I suppose then that it was some sort of ironic twist that in my moment of teenage apathy, I would be confronted with one very important question. Got hope? Got hope. The question was written in white text on a black poster, taking obvious inspiration from those Got Milk ads of the mid-2000s. The poster at first made me laugh because why be creative when you can repurpose a when you can repurpose an old ad into a dollar store inspirational poster. But before I knew it, my mind was racing. Got hope? Got hope? Did I have hope sitting here with a guidance counselor preparing for the biggest four years of my life? What would it even look like having hope right now? Because perhaps more importantly than asking God hope is how you even define having hope. I mean, everyone knows what hope means, but what does it look like? Coincidentally, this question will be put through its biggest test less than a year later. And I, I'm, well, excuse me. I'm sure all of you remember the long months of 2020, and if you don't, I envy you, where everything seemed to get worse and worse with each passing day. The world got darker and darker as spring turned into summer, the year dragging us all through some metaphorical mud as we trudged from March into April, April into May, May into June. It felt like we were living in a world without hope. But were we really? During the pandemic, so many popular activities were forced to close. Restaurants, movie theaters, and family gatherings grinded to a halt in the face of an omnipresent insidious disease. But we endured. Restaurants served customers outside. There was a brief, beautiful renaissance for drive-in movie theaters. And families spent the summer having cookouts and parties outdoors with safe distancing. In direct response to the odds before us, we persevered. I noticed this same trend in our school, too. The pandemic was a stone thrown into the tranquil pond of normalcy, and Whitman Hanson was not unaffected by its ripples. We made do with Zoom-based learning, a temporary makeshift solution to the problem, and eventually moved on to hybrid, half-in-person, half-online school, a more solid solution that made up the bulk of our sophomore year. Both of these solutions were anything but, since they, since they were often a source of struggle more than anything else. But as with everything else, we endured. We were able to recognize the necessity of these conditions and got through it together. We made the best of the situation with things like online Kahoot games in Spanish class or socially distant movie screenings with the film club. Shout out to Mr. Casey. I think our grade is in a unique spot in, re in relation to the COVID pandemic. Our introduction to high school was disrupted. Our sophomore year was completely restructured and our junior year was still spent in masks with COVID lurking on the horizon. But it was through our perseverance, our endurance, and our togetherness as a class that we were able to get through it all. Somebody much wiser than myself once defined success as when you set a goal for yourself and meet that goal. And if that's true, then you, the class of 2023, are the greatest success story I've ever seen. I've seen you defy the odds. I've seen you win awards and everything from academics at the Panther Praise Awards to winning stuff at show choir competitions. And now at the end of our soft, excuse me, and now at the end of our senior year, I look back on that day nearly four years ago when I was just a bored freshman pondering an existential question in the guidance office. Got hope? If the past four years have taught me anything, it's that we do. Without it, we wouldn't have gotten through the challenges of these years that COVID, as well as high school in general, have provided us. We have all learned what hope looks like. Hope is perseverance. Hope is endurance. Hope is togetherness. I have hope for all of you, class of 2023. I have hope for your futures, for your dreams. I've seen firsthand what all of you can do, and it's nothing short of awe-inspiring. There's no challenge we can't work through. It is for this reason that I have hope. We have to have hope, because where would we be without it? So now, standing before you, which is maybe the biggest crowd I've ever stood before, I ask you a question. Got hope? It's been an honor to spend time with all of you, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. Thank you. What will I be when I graduate? What are my next steps? These are questions that we have all asked ourselves at one point. These are the same questions many of you have undoubtedly been asking yourselves leading up to this point. Seeing that you asked for it, here's my advice. Ask a better question. What question you ask? Try this one. Who will I be? Here's some more advice on the answer. Be uniquely, confidently, undeniably you. Many of you up until this point in your lives have attached your identity to what you do. You're an athlete, a musician, a member of a club, a scholar. But this phase of your life where you have crafted that identity is coming to a close. Sometimes that may seem like a relief, sometimes a little scary, often a mixture of both. But I invite you to use this moment as a chance to reflect on what you bring to any group you are part of and how they don't define you, 
but instead how you are part of what defines them. You are unique, and that is what makes you valuable. There is no one in this world that can offer those around them the exact same value as you. So don't hide from the quirks, beliefs, or interests you have, because that is what makes you the person others want to be around. So own every piece of who you are as a person. Be confident in who you are as a unique, valuable human being. You know, there's something interesting about confidence. It's contagious. More importantly, it affects how you carry yourself, decisions you make, and mental state. Most importantly, its presence or absence has a direct effect on your eventual level of success, no matter the position, job, career, or goals you have. It is hard. There will be times that you aren't sure. There will always be negative comments. Ignore them and be who you are and continue to grow, stepping forward into your own personal greatness. Because nobody ever knows your whole story and nobody can love you as much as you should love yourself. After all, who's better at being and living the authentic you than you? Live so that nobody can ever deny the person you are. Live in a fashion that you don't have to speak or even be in the room for people to understand who you are and what you are about. Lean into who you are and what you believe with an open mind to grow. All too often today, we hear everyone's opinion from and through a closed mind. It is very difficult to pull the truth from the noise, especially when it's a complex truth. So start with yourselves by speaking and living your truth and honoring others with that open mind for growth. Doing that will have a much needed impact on the world around us. More importantly, it will help you grow into your full potential. These, these, th these three things are not easy to do and push us to look for a definition of who we are. That's because definitions are simple and short. All of you sitting here tonight are anything but simple. Instead, I urge you to describe who you are, affording yourself the ability to create a complex version of you as a person. If you can't think of any words to be begin describing who you are or who you want to be, try starting with this one, human. A human who is not just at peace, but happy with the unique, confident, undeniable version of yourself and willing to accept that very same thing about others. Class of 2023, I truly offer you my most sincere congratulations and honestly believe that you are all unique, can all be confident and ready to be an undeniable force on this world. Congratulations. I would now like to invite Moises Trey Lacandula to the podium to recite the class ode. Hello, everyone. Sign my yearbook. Where's the time gone before our eyes? It felt like yesterday we walked through the doors. Everything has changed one second at a time. Today is the day we finally say goodbye. With laughter and tears, we worked our hardest to get here, taking it step by step and day by day, just trusting the way. Wherever you're going next, whatever you may be doing, remember what I tell you. We are moving on to our next chapter. Just remember, no matter what happens, you'll, you must always make sure to get back up. Always keep your eye on the vision and never give up, for you don't know what you are capable of in this world. Remember, don't let anybody tell you what you can and can't do. Don't let anybody tell you it's too hard or that you can't make it, just because they couldn't. Doesn't mean you can't. Don't let the ones who never went after their dreams stop you, my friend because the person who really wants to do something finds a way. Remember, if you never climbed the mountain, you will never know if you could have made it to the top. You have never known how far you could have gone. So don't go through life not knowing. Go after what you want and try. Remember, success is not achieved overnight, but by hard work and consistency over time, life is a staircase, meant to be taken one step at a time, day by day. And lastly, my friends, remember, there's no dream too big and no dream too small. Follow your heart, and you'll enjoy this journey of life. Go after your dreams, and no matter how impossible it may seem, 
and remember that if others could do it, you can do it too. So class of 2023, as you leave this chapter behind and new journeys arise, I hope your future is filled with peace and success. And here's to you, my fellow graduates. It's now time to celebrate. Riley Getchell will now present the class gift. The class of 2023 will proudly be contributing a few gifts to the school this year. First, the class will be purchasing new replacement tablecloths and decorations for ceremonial events, much like the ones you see on stage tonight. Secondly, the class will be purchasing two large griddle top grills for future high school events for all grades and incoming classes to enjoy. Last year, lastly, the class of 2023 will be contributing to the Pay It Forward account as its class gift. This account, established by the class of 2018, is overseen by advisors and administrators and is used for speakers and programs that cultivate a positive school climate for students and staff. It is our desire that by contributing these various gifts, the class of 2023 will leave a lasting legacy at Women Hanson by directly impacting future students. Thank you. I would now like to invite the public relations officer of the class of 2023, Sarah Reagan, to the poem podium for the presentation of Teacher of the Year and Staff Member of the Year. Good evening. It is quite an honor to be standing up here today to publicly acknowledge this year's Staff Member and Teacher of the Year recipients. I'm pleased to say there aren't two more deserving people of these awards. The senior class voted the high school's librarian media specialist, Ms. Catherine Shaw, as the recipient of the Staff Member of the Year Award. Ms. Shaw has helped to create a relaxing, comfortable, and welcoming environment. She has contributed to the transformation of the library into a motivational and guiding area for students to better themselves academically as well as mentally. On behalf of the class of 2023, I am proud to recognize Ms. Catherine Shaw as this year's Staff Member of the Year. This year's Teacher of the Year Award recipient is the History Department's Mr. Jeffrey Andrews. If there is so, yeah, let's applaud for him, please. <laughs> if there is someone who is said to go the extra mile, it is Mr. Andrews. Whether teaching AP Psychology or U.S. History, he is recognizably dedicated to the success of his students, providing his students with information and lessons they will surely follow them long after high school. As one of his students this year, and on behalf of the class of 2023, I am more than honored to recognize Mr. Jeffrey Andrews as this year's Class of 2023 Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to both recipients, and thank you for all you've done and continue to do for the students of Whitman Hanson. What to do now, what to do now. <laughs> Please stand, class. <laughs> class of 2023, it is an honor to exercise the responsibility vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Please move your tassels from right to left. I now pronounce you graduates of Whitman Hanson Regional High School! Congratulations! 